I'm Ellen Kennedy and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you like videos about style, finding your style, watching or helping me find my style, or doing things about reselling on Poshmark, please like and subscribe. Today we're going to do a thread up mystery rescue box. It is the fun box. It's an $18 box on thread up of things that might need a little TLC, things that we are rescuing, $18 for 10 things, so our expectations can't be that high, right Nick? Uh, I don't know, my expectations are really high because it says good vibes inside. Well, so I am anticipating nothing but awesome things. <laughs> right? We need nothing but awesome out of this. Plus I had $10 credit. I don't even know how I got a $10 credit that was about to expire. So it made it even cheaper. So I thought, what the heck? Let's give it a whirl. Never done this kind of thing before. So let's see what's inside our little fun box. I did cut the tape, but I have not even open this yet okay oh it says can you get this parking lots please kiosk vendors bye bye what's that last one it says closes when oh, yeah right yeah right uh-huh because they're open all the time all right all right thread up so these are things that people have sent in because they no longer want and things that Maybe they can't sell or they've had a long time or they're just not going to sell or who knows, maybe they just save them for these. All right, here's my order slip. All right, well, it looks like everything's in this, this gold digging since 2009. All right, let me see. Hashtag second hand first. You know I love a good thrift. I love second hands. All right. Here we go. It looks like, oh, I thought maybe everything was wrapped in this. Um, scarf, pashmina. Okay. Kind of a pretty rosy color with the pattern. Looks to be in good condition. Oh, look at that, pashmina says right there, 30% silk, 70% pashmina. You have to do the smell test. Smelling pretty good, looking pretty good. What do you think, Nick? We've got score one on the awesome side. On the awesome side. There's nothing wrong with this one. Looking pretty good. All right, let's see what else is inside here. Hmm. Okay. Is this a stocking hat? Mud is the brand. To do. Not too bad. Is that a is that a stocking hat? It has to be. What else would that be? I don't wear hats usually, so I'm the wrong person to ask that to. I mean, you could use it as a little bag. It has elastic. But no, it's got to be a stocking hat. Kind of cute. Mm -hmm. Can you get that pattern? All right. I kind of don't want to put it on. I wouldn't put it on until you washed it. <laughs> but okay. All right. A mud styling hat. Is that awesome or not awesome? Uh, it's, I'll put it on the awesome category. It's not bad. And doesn't look like you need to do anything to it other than maybe wash it. Okay. Number three. It is a evening mask. So when I don't want to look at you at night, honey, we put this on. How does it look? Looks more expensive than just closing your eyes. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing fancy, fancy. It says new material only. What does that mean? Well, that's good, I guess. Um, polyester fiber. Um, it feels pretty thin and flimsy, but okay. A mask. 
So, so far, three pieces that cover me. My eyes, my head, and my body, right? Wait a minute, what's this? Crafted from repurposed materials. Into oh, what? Into, well, did you see? Oh, is it like a thing you hang, like instead of fuzzy dice, you hang that on, off your uh, rear view mirror in your car? That could be one purpose, but I don't think See, this... do you hear that guy in the background beeping? He wants it. He's <laughs> he seen it through it. the window. He wants it. I don't think this would fit on the rear view mirror. Not our rear view so mirror. So do but... people put this on their purse? Oops, I pulled off a thread. Do they put it on like their zipper on their ski jacket? What is this? Verloop. Verloop. Knits.com. Repurposed fuzzy balls. <laughs> Where would you put this? I'd put it in the Goodwill pile, but that's me. <laughs> Maybe it goes in the Goodwill pile. All right. It's bubble wrapped. I thought this was exclusively clothing. I had to be honest with you. I did not realize it was random shit they just send you. That's what I told you. It's a fun box. It's <laughs> random. It's random stuff like a heart shaped. <laughs> this thing. It's for your rings. <laughs> oh, okay. That's not what I was thinking. What about. did you think that was? <laughs> uh, let's just leave that off the internet. But that's pretty funny. It's it's a it's a glass ring holder okay that's fairly awesome that's fairly awesome i don't know what this black mark on here is but that's oh maybe it's just ink i don't know what that is but it's it's fairly awesome it's nothing scary so no. that's good no right okay no we're doing good so far so far so good also in bubble wrap and a box. Okay. This one says sealing deals since 2009. Let's see what they've sealed inside the box. What do you think it is? I'm gonna hope for a necklace. Well, it's jewelry. It's that's, a stretchy. That's pretty. Yeah. Bracelet, yeah. That is fun and sparkly. I yeah. like some oh, sparkly. Zoe likes it. Look, she's. Uh... Zoe was dancing for sparklies. Maybe. Dance for sparkles, Zoe. Now she's no. sitting so nice. Okay. I I do have smaller wrists, so it's elastic. Oh, I hear the neighbors outside. Um. I'll put that in the awesome category. What do you think? Yeah? I agree. That's really cool. Hey, cool. Oh, I meant to mention that this came from the warehouse in Illinois. I don't know if that's important to people, but this is what's happening at the Illinois warehouse. This is what's happening in Belt World. This is a size. It says large. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know. It, I don't see any markings on it that says that it's real leather, leather or anything. It's made in China. It's, it's like, what word is this, Nick? Lynx, maybe? Yeah. It's lynx. It's like riveted together. Ah, oh, rivet's a good Can you word. See yes. that? Yeah. Yeah. It does this. Is this awesome? I would say so. What it's, number is this? Um, I was stopped counting. Uh -oh. Also, I'm not good with numbers. Ah! One, two, three, four, five, six, six. How many do we get? Ten. Ten? Okay. Okay. Vera Bradley. Like a cross body velcro oh that really 
enticed Miss Zoe. She's like, what's going on with that Velcro noise, mama? Um, just like a, a small little crossbody to carry your phone and a, you know, your ID, a few things in there. There's a back pocket and a front zip pocket. Seems functional. Let's see if this is functional. Hey, we'll take it. Not bad. Do you like that pattern? Not See particularly, it? no. It looks very summer, spring and summer. Yeah. Like, I feel like my nieces would really like that. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. What are the nieces wearing these days? Ooh, size three natural, so sexy sheer French lace shears with control tops. So a pair of pantyhose, these can be expensive. Oh, they say Macy's requires, uh, required for returns, a return label. Pantyhose can be expensive. New in the box. I have to say I was not expecting that in the box. No, me either. Those wouldn't be my size, but hey, oh, they're nine fifty or they're two for sixteen. Nine fifty. I feel like they're more expensive than that. What do I know? What do I know? What do I know? Okay. So this, ooh, this has definitely been pre-loved. You see? Can you get to see that in there? Uh, yeah, I Some think of the so. goodies in there. Yeah. Little schmoosh on the back. Yeah. And it is, uh, it has a place for a cord, which I, just in case it's in the pocket, I don't see that. Um, it says made in China. Oh, somebody actually like kissed this, I think, to get like their lip, their extra lipstick. They were like, I do not have a tissue in my purse, but I have a purse. So I will just use that because I'm on a date and I, that's all I got. So, you know, life happens, right? I'm getting a clearer picture of the person who assembled this box now. <laughs> of the person <laughs> well they just had a warehouse to pick from right i feel like this may be a warehouse worker just dumping their random crap into a box well that they're going... putting together a fun box that's what they're doing uh, no i mean of their personal stuff oh. they're like i don't need any of these things anymore <laughs> here we go <laughs> okay next i recognize this as a name that i've never found in anything rebecca minkoff I have heard through the grapevine that this is a good brand to get. Let's see what this is. Oh, I was trying to like unsnap it, but it's just a magnet. Oh, it's a phone case. Yeah, phone case, wallet, all in one. Hey. It's pretty fancy. Pretty, smells like leather. I think it's, I think it might be leather. What size phone is that for? Looks like a iPhone 7 Plus. That's just a random guess though. Totally, we'll have, to, we'll have to look that up. Casemate, it says. Um, interesting, it's got kind of a crease mark back here. I guess, I don't know how it got that. Oh, because it does. It may self-stand or someone made their own stand with it. Hey, okay, well, we got that going. And that's it. That's all she wrote. Kind of fun. What do you think? I don't know, would you do it again? What do you think, Nick? Is this worthy? Um, you know what, it's not too bad. Whenever you said stuff was, had, you know, might need tender love and care or something. The only thing that really looks in bad shape is that purse, and that doesn't even look that bad. So I'd say yeah. pretty good. And that necklace, uh, not the necklace, the bracelet and the scarf are probably worth it just by themselves. Yeah, I think it's worth it. It's, cer it's certainly fun. I mean, it's 18 bucks for 10 things. Maybe you can resell some. Maybe you can Google some, figure out what to do with. I don't know, this might become a toy for our doggies, not sure, but I don't know, I think it's fun, it's worth it. Um, I actually 
had a thought in my mind that if this was a decently worth it box that I might get one another one um, there's a jewelry one out there and I'd like to learn more about jewelry and brands and maybe there's some things to resell in that so um, I think that this gives me a green light to go ahead and move forward with that so that's really cool anyways thank you so much for watching today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more like it please subscribe and we will see you next time